If you have your Bibles tonight, turn with me to the book of Joshua, chapter 24. Joshua, chapter 24. I want you to know that it's time to stop playing church. Amen. It's time to stop playing church. We need to get a sense of sincerity about us and start looking at what we're really doing and serve God and make a decision to serve God, a conscious decision with our whole heart that we're going to serve the Lord regardless. Amen. I mean, the enemy's going to throw stuff at you. But it's time to say, I'm going to serve God regardless. Right. I'm going to serve God if I have to. You know, in my, in my home, I'm the only one that goes. i got to go. See, for me, if no one in my house goes to church, I'm still going to church. Because when it's time for me to stand before the judgment seat of Christ, none of them will be sitting on the throne. So I have a choice. I can choose to serve the Lord, or I can say, well, my family wouldn't let me, which would be a lie. Because, see, you don't depend on your family to serve the Lord. Your, your family depends on you to serve the Lord. Amen. Because if you're the only one in your house serving the Lord, you're the one providing that cover. Right. You're the one providing that spiritual cover for your home. Amen. In Joshua 24, I want to begin reading in verse 13. And I have given you a land for which you did not labor, and cities which you built not, and you dwell in them. Of the vineyards and olive yards which you planted not, do you eat? Now therefore, fear the Lord, and serve Him in sincerity and in truth. Put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood, and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorite whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord our God, He it is that brought us up. And our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And which did those great signs in our sight. And preserved us in all the way wherein we went. And among all the people through whom we passed. You may be seated. When Joshua was talking with the people. God said to him, I've given you lands that didn't belong to you. You didn't labor for them. I've given you cities that you didn't build. You're eating out of vineyards and olive yards that you didn't plant. He said, now fear the Lord. Serve Him with sincerity and with truth. Put away all this other garbage. I mean, no, we need to put away some garbage. Put away all the other garbage that stops us. And serve the Lord. He said, if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, well, think about it then. Do you want to serve the gods that your fathers did who were on the other side of the flood? Or even those of the Amorites in the land that you dwell? What are you going to do? You going to serve Allah today? You going to turn and, and, and say that you, you're going to be a, a Jehovah's Witness? You know, Make up your mind. What are you going to do? Serve the Lord or not serve the Lord? Amen. Are you dependent on someone else as to whether you serve the Lord or not? If you are, you're deceived. Amen. The Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Amen. What sort of man sow it, that shall he also reap. Right. If you sow to the Spirit, you shall of the Spirit right. reap life everlasting. But if you sow to the flesh, you shall of the flesh reap corruption. If we're sowing to the Spirit, we're not so mindful about the flesh. Amen. But if we're worried all about the flesh, we're going to die. That's right. Amen. Physically and spiritually. Amen. Not necessarily in that order. Amen. Sincerity is not just coming to church. Amen. You know, you can load the dishwasher 
This happens in our house. I do it. We can load the dishwasher, but if you never put one of those dishwasher tabs in and start the thing up, the dishes never get clean. You can go to church, go through all the motions, but if it's not sincere in your relationship with God, you've not done it. You're not really, if you don't serve the Lord in sincerity... When we serve the Lord in sincerity, that means with all that we have, just like the psalmist said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. That ought to be how we pray. How we praise the Lord with everything that's within us. The psalmist said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. I hear people complain. Amen. Amen. Christian folks, folks here in the church, in our church, yep. complain. And I wonder if we're going to complain about doing something, why are we doing it? Amen. If we're going to complain about doing something, why do it? I could have complained yesterday, it's hot out here and there ain't enough cars Amen. to wash to keep me busy. But you know what? It wouldn't have done any good because you can complain all day, it doesn't make it any cooler. Right. You can complain all day, but unless you get out in the middle of the road and block traffic and make them flow in behind that Hardy's where we were at, you weren't getting any more cars. There was another car wash right down the street. I saw people standing out by the road waving in cars. I saw another one. We weren't the only ones out there. But if I said, okay, we're going to do it again Saturday, a lot of folks would say, not me. I ain't going back out there. See, when we serve the Lord in sincerity, we don't mind working. We don't mind doing things. Everybody says, well, brother, I've got things I've got to get done. I've got things I've got to do. You're right. We've got to be about the Father's business because time is short. Amen. 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 He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then all these other things will be added unto you. But if, I find that if, if working for the Lord interferes with plans we have, we don't come. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to wear my steel toe boots next week. <laughs> or, or, you know, when, if it interferes with something we want to do, it, then the, what we want to do takes precedence over doing things for God. Anything you put before God becomes your God is called idolatry. Right. Amen. Is it alright to tell you the truth? No. I'd do it anyway, whether you like it or not. Come on. See, we need to understand that if we're going to serve the Lord in sincerity, with a sincere heart, we've got to set aside everything else and say, God, I'm going to serve you regardless. Amen. 